On a blustery day in 1967, Catherine Switzer, a 19-year-old journalism student from Syracuse, changed history as she ran the formerly male-dominated Boston Marathon. Because she registered for the race using the name she signed her university papers with, K.V. Switzer, the young college girl was not questioned until partway through the race. Despite an easy start in which many of her male counterparts seemed thrilled to have her running with them, Switzer did eventually meet some resistance. After about a mile, Jock Semple, the race manager, attacked her in an attempt to stop her, ripping her bib numbers. The attack was only stopped when Switzer's boyfriend, who was running with her, attacked Semple, pushing him away from Catherine. Jock Semple only got away with taking Catherine's left glove off, but the event left Switzer shaken. Later, an angry Tom said, you're getting me into all kinds of trouble, and ran off into the distance, leaving a crying Switzer. Switzer, Arnie, and John eventually passed Tom and found themselves going over Heartbreak Hill, one of the hardest hills to get over in the race. After cresting the hill, they finished the race. This attack on the officially registered Switzer has created an infamy not only for Switzer, but also for her bib number from that race, 261. Switzer used the infamy of her number and her participation in the event to create many more opportunities for women in running. She founded Avon Running, helped add the women's marathon to the Olympics, and continued running marathons, even running the Boston Marathon again th this past year. To this day, Switzer uses the event to prove that women are capable of amazing things, and that even the smallest statement, such as registering officially, can have a profound effect. But it's too late to say you sorry, how would I know? Cool.